we're right in the middle of campus here at Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium and looking forward to a great game. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's going to go for the home run. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. And down he goes. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. This one will fall incomplete. How did he drop that? And he's tackled after positive yardage. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. From their own 40-yard line. Third down. He is drilled at the 32. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Hill, the return man. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Now he's got room to run. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. And he's tackled at the 46. Bird picks them up about five yards on that pass play, and that one will move the sticks. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And they make the stop around the 20-yard line. Rose, and it's knocked away. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. He's under some heat. This one's going deep to the end zone. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Texas is looking to go up by three. It's up. And it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Three nothing, Texas. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Throws this one out to the left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Oh, and almost picked off. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws incomplete. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong good. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. Well, the last drive was good for three. But I'm sure in this one, they'll be looking to double that. Quick pass. He's at midfield. Got an opening. And they push him out at the 36. He's going to try and scramble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Texas is up by three. He's going right. 
Nice catch on that one. He's at the 20. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. He might have a chance. Brought down at the eight-yard line. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. The kick is up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The Longhorns are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Zips it to the back. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 43. He's into the open field. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 29. Got some open field. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Nice run. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Offense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Terps! Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he hits the PAT. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, He's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to feed next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and down he goes. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. Loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. It's third and nine. Ball on their own 25. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Recovered by the defense. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And a quick throw, and he's taken down around the six-yard line. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. He makes the PAT. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. The Terrapins in front by eight. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Here we go, Oates. Here we go, Oates. One to the right. Watch one. Watch one. 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Takes the ball inside. Nice run there. And he tackles him hard at the 50-yard line. Maryland holds an eight-point advantage. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the second break. Hill is back deep to return the punt. <laughs> Tries to get around the corner. And he's taken down at the 46. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 42. Scrambling around. He's taken down. Slings it out there incomplete. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He scrambles, and he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. And they'll take over on downs. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Maryland up by eight. Brought down. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the 38. The defender had it and then dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. There's a strike complete, and he shoved out of bounds at the 26-yard line. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackle made at about the 11. Maryland is up by eight. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Touchdown, Maryland! The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory, and you want to take a chance, and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that, and I get it. But when you're in your own territory, and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. It's third and eight. Ball on the 38. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 40. Dixon is the punter. It's away, and it's a booming punt. 
He fields the punt at the 13. Brought down at the 28. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Slings it, and they got him for a loss. He's to the 40. Gets to around the 42. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. And he scrambles for the first down. He was looking downfield, but nothing was available. So he just tucked it in and got a first down. Nice decision. Flips it middle to the running back. And down he goes. Caught a big hit there. He is drilled at the 32. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Call a game of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. They'll drop him for a loss. There he goes. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Kicks away, and it's through the upright. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. In the gun, five wide receivers. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. The Longhorns are going to call their second timeout. He's going to go for the home run. Missed him. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Wants to go long and does. Leaps picked off. The Terrapins continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run up the middle. And he's taken down. Runs right for a nice gate. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down. Let's it fly. He got it! Inside the 30 to the 10. They're not done yet. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. They're set to go for another round. There he goes. And he's tackled at the 33 yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Scrambling around. 
And he's level at the 44. And he throws it away. Hill is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He makes his way to about the 45. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Makes it out to about the 46. He goes down at the 21. Now that is exactly how you draw up the option. When this offense is executing the option effectively, they are a tough team to stop from moving the ball. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Longhorns. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he adds the extra point. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Maryland is up four. Here's an opening. And they make the stop. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Brought down. And they'll run him again. Nice run there. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 12. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. The 10. He gets out to about the 8. And he just gets rid of it. The kick is up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The Terrapins have certainly had their opportunities to put this thing away. I don't think they can uh, say they haven't, but they haven't been able to do it. Well, it's just sloppy execution on offense. You know, whether they're turning the ball over or they're, or they're being forced to punt, this is just not an offense right now in rhythm. And they have, they've won their opportunities, and now they've got to hold on and hope that they can get out of here with a win. And he tackles them hard at the 37. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. He laterals the ball. Decent run here, right side. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. And they got him. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Throws this one out to the left, and it's incomplete. Turner was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Certainly they don't have the return on here. And this one is a beauty.
He fields the punt at the 16. Room around the corner. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. Has some daylight. Gets out to around the 48. He makes it to the 45. Makes it to the 37. Gets out to around the 28. They'll drop him for a loss. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. That's three down and one to go. Maryland's up by one. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Big opening. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Touchdown, and they take the lead. So the offense is going to go for two. Doesn't sound like much to complete a pass for three yards, but being in front of the end zone with points on the line makes it a much tougher proposition. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Up the middle for a nice game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Fires it out. Tackles around the 41-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He heaves it deep. He's got it. And he's taken down at the 20. Now he tries to buy some time. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They're about four yards away here on third down. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down right around the 12-yard line. Pitch out. Got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the six. That's good enough to pick up the first down. This young man ran with some purpose there. Picked up six yards. Breaks the tackle, and he'll score. Touchdown. 57-yard drive, 
And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He gets to about the 34-yard line. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They're down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Here comes the pressure. And where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. You know, one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. He's at the 30, makes it to the 24. He gets another carry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. Touchdown, Longhorns. And he converts the extra point. It was a five-play, 50-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Fires out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds. Under heavy pressure. He wants it all going long. He goes up and gets it. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Got it and brought down immediately. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Terps! That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. at the 41-yard line. So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. The Terrapins will use their first time out of the half. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's got an opening. Tackle made around the 13-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Touchdown, Texas! 
Joseph. And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Boy, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's tackled at the 48. That makes it first and ten. Just throws this one away. He zips it. Almost intercepted. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Brought down around the 42-yard line. Gets it, he's in space. And down he goes. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. And here's a quick throw. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. 